Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Rogue Trader. Now, this will be the first episode that I'm recording after the baby Cordant Pini was born. So it's actually been a long time since I've played this game. Uh, I had a lot of videos on Buffer just to keep the stream flowing for the channel. Uh, then I had to focus a little bit more on Pathfinder because it was a little bit behind what I had for Rogue Trader. And now I'm only now coming back to this. So, as I've seen in a lot of comments, a lot of things have changed in the game. Uh, a lot of patches were done, a lot of things were fixed. Some classes got balanced, which I'm kind of curious about. All of those things will be new to me. And you will also forgive me if I'm a little bit lost on what I was doing before. Uh, I just rechecked my quest log here before starting the video. My understanding is that pretty much everything I have to do is in Kyavagama. There really isn't a lot else I have to do besides going to Kyavagama. And there is also this thing for Yiliet's quest in Tenebris Aque, which I don't really know where it is yet. This is colony management and again Kyavagama. <clears throat> so I also looked at the map. I see that I have some undiscovered places to go to. We have this entire section over here. Or sell your prophecy, sounds promising. Uh, I'm just gonna go up here first because the game is telling me. Oh, it's just colonized. Wait, maybe it's nothing. Valencia's Restoration and Chronicle of the Protectorate. Uh... Oh. We completed Dreamless. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so this is why what this is giving me. All right. So for the new project I can do, this one is done. And now I know that I can do pretty much anything I want. Um, as long as it doesn't say blocks project, it's free to do. So I'm actually going to just start with those. Uh, which will be this one, right? Uh, warp guide doesn't block anything, doesn't require anything. It's just free to do <clears throat> okay so warp guys let's go execute it how are we looking over here everything we can do is done ah this one i think i was waiting because i didn't like what it was blocking if i remember this right so i won't bother too much with this right now and in foul stone <clears throat> everything is locked Wait, why can't I do this, though? If I have... If I have all of the requirements... Why can't I start this? Oh, wait, there's, there's a, a scroll over here. <laughs> Sorry. So, me mechanisms... We have zero. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna have to work on that. Here I need bonfires. Of, okay, that one is locked. And this one? Ah, this one, we have the required project. But we don't have these two. <clears throat> okay, got it. So, no point in going there. That's just a symbol of the colony. I had forgotten about that, such as this one here. Cool. So, let's explore the... Have I done this one? Let me actually just check. Oh, it's Bundus Valentius, right. This is my planet. Points of interest, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, how do I go back? It's here. So, let's explore new systems. <clears throat> We're gonna go for the crossroads of a hundred dreams. Uh, it's unsafe, I'm fine with that. So if I remember right, this is just kind of like a lore, right? It doesn't really matter too much. Although, wait, it's saying that... We received a message from Archelius' calendar on Dargonus. He closely studied the data from the incursion on Viabo 6, including the mention of the Xenos Lead. This is actually uh, tied to one of our quests. He promised to direct his efforts of his aid to identify those enemies of humanity so that a location can be determined. Master's Calendar is also reporting that Drukari are getting ready for more attacks on your territory. Information from his aides continues to arrive, and Achilles will personally report to you the moment the target for the upcoming raid becomes clear. 
the Drukari excel at cast, catching their opponents off guard, and there will be little time to mount a response. According to Master's Calendar, your personal participation in defense would be the best strategy, given the circumstances. Okay. <clears throat> but how do I actually do this? Stop the Xeno's raids on your... Uh, holdings. Take this pilot... Uh, 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 hunt down the leaders, blah blah blah. Before the information is found, text on the clones... Uh, uh, must be stopped to avoid any further damage to the Vaughn you protected it. Uh... <clears throat> undetermined is this just a warning of upcoming attacks or or can i do something here because i can't really see anything right okay i think i'll just continue here <clears throat> chart new courses Ooh, we also found that. Nice. Okay, so let's hit the crossroads of 100 dreams. We have enemies of humanity over here. I guess I can start by fighting this. Uh, how is my ship looking? Do I even remember what I had? <laughs> I'm going to assume <clears throat> that my choices are the correct ones. Okay. I can upgrade my hull integrity. I can upgrade my RAM, which I don't really use. 155, I have 303. This is fully upgraded. The posts are all occupied. Okay, well, let's go there then. You are facing Chaos Worshippers. It seems their ships have been lying in wait here. The Vox Master reports an incoming transmission. I will allow the message. Accept it. A blood-curdling visceral scream from the Vox Caster deafens the officers on the bridge. Frightened and pale, they cover their ears with their hands to carry on working despite the impulse to vomit. Okay, so I shouldn't have allowed it. A mocking inhuman voice giggles hysterically. Today is the day you die. Then the transmission ends. Okay, did... Wait, is it a, a ship battle or is it a, a... A person battle? All stations, oh, it's a ship battle, okay. manned and ready. Infidel! Ooh, yeah, a lot of HP. 180. Okay, so what am I facing here? Torpedoes, now my friend is playing. He's gonna go right into the torpedoes, dude. That's a very bad play. The enemy's buoy shield has been nullified. Wait, what? Did he just... What is this? Okay, wait. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Internal fires. The interior of the ship's on fire. The ship suffers 5 to 10 damage each round. Something said... What, what is this? Stare into the abyss. Makes the ship instantly stop and shoot its lance weapons three times instead of moving. That's quite nice. <clears throat> Can only use before moving. Swift death fighters. What is this? Tiny ships of murder, I guess? I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay, so I feel like I should go for the tiny ones first. <clears throat> not the big one. But I did hear something about my enemies' shields something something are nullified. Or is he talking about this one? Because it doesn't seem to have any shields right now. And this one does. I think my friend's just gonna die very quickly. Okay, so if I want to kill this bitch, I have the Sunhammer Lens battery, <coughs> which is very close range. I think I'm going to deploy the torpedoes right now. And the flash torpedo are loaded with three torpedoes, how is one? Duration, plus one round for every ten... Po okay, so how do I do this? I've never actually used this, I don't think. Okay, so let, let me click on this. Uh, 
So what? If I if I deploy, I can deploy three of them. Is that it? Annihilate them! Oh, I can. <clears throat> Torpedoes locked. I certainly. Oh, did I block my movement? I hope I can move. Okay, right. So my dorsal weapon has a long range. This does not have a long range. Okay, so let me see. If I want to target this guy. So if I go here, the dorsal hits, this does not, and this also hits. What if I come over here? Hits, hits, hits nothing. I can never really hit this guy unless I make my next shot gain extra range, which I guess I can do it. Okay, so let's go over here. Okay, we can move past them. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> so, Sunhammer Lance Battery. Let's target this guy. That was a... Nice chunk of... Well, a little bit of damage, I guess. Not too much. Dorsal. Fire the lance batteries. They changed the effects in the game, didn't they? <laughs> they certainly did. Okay, so I want to give my next shot extra range. Because right now, this does nothing. Okay, so let's shoot this guy. Start working on him. It also shows me which shield's gonna break. I don't think it showed this before. Another salvo. I could be wrong though. Okay, good. And let me see. Warp wave. We can cause an enemy ship to stop uh, to immediately turn 45 or 90 degrees depending on the ship's maneuverability. If the sh enemy ship has suffered hull damage, this abrupt turn additionally deals damage equal to 25 to 30 percent of the ship's missing hull for a 45 degree turn. So I can just maybe kill this one. Yep. Okay, good. And I will pass. Yeah, that was a very bad move, man. Why would you run into the torpedoes? What is he doing? I'm not really sure what's happening. I took internal fire damage from this guy. This guy shot me a bunch of times. Didn't break my shield, but it penetrated. Yeah, dealing 60 shield and 41 hull damage. You little bitch. Okay, so it's time for these torpedoes to play. So these can straight up kill this. I'm guessing this can kill that, and this will just go around. He's dead. Oh, these have a lot of maneuverability. Nice. So go for this bitch. <laughs> and I will send you here. Depending on where, where this guy moves, I may want to have a little bit more maneuverability rather than just being like right in front of him. So I'll place it here, I suppose. E Wait, unless... Because I do have that skill that allows me to move five extra spaces. Okay, so go here then. We're gonna try this out. So now I'm gonna take damage from the fire, I believe. Yeah, 10 damage plus 9 damage. Dude, come on, man. 5 to 11, you deal 9 and 10. You suck. Okay, so I have to get away from this guy. I can also say, give control of the new Torpedo Salvo, giving it 5 movement points. Should be enough. Only works on Torpedo Salvo. <clears throat> oh, I can... What? I can drop more torpedoes right now? 
you're joking. Okay. Well, so first of all, let's start with this. Yeah, we do this, and we go here. Okay, dealt decent damage. So now... This is the turn thingy. This is a jump. This is a U-turn. I think I'm fine just moving this way. I would attack the, the injured shield. And I could go for... Wait, let me actually check. Ah, damn it. Okay, because if I come here... I hit with the dorsal. I hit with the front line. I can deploy torpedoes, but that won't do anything right now. But I cannot hit with my starboard or anything like that. So what if I move here first? Can I use this? I can. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to move over here. Shoot the port cannon on the guy. And then move over here and use the dorsal and the lance battery. Okay, that's the plan. Onward. And we should also be away safe from the torpedoes. Okay, so... Port. It does hit the injured shield. Good. Leave the hull strewn across the stars. Okay, very decent damage. I can also just use my dorsal weapon already. I don't think there's a point in not using it. Leave them. Now, I, I do like the new effects, I will say. And now I can... Wait, can I... Is this grayed out or is this working? It needs to be during the escalate. Oh, sorry. So I can't use it. Um, but why is it grayed out? Okay, whatever. Uh, so now I'm gonna do it like this. And shoot like this. This one's going to burn Strike another up. notch on Die, the bitch! Okay. Now, I feel like I'm safe from that, but I guess I can use my shallow jump. Just to get further away from it. And the annoying part here is that I'm going to take damage because at least before the patch, uh, the fight would only end once the torpedoes are also dead. Which means I'm going to take damage even though there are no enemy ships around, which I hate. Unleash our vengeful salvo. Can I actually just kill that with torpedoes? Annihilate them. Man, this skill is freaking amazing. Torpedoes locked. Okay. I do wish they changed this. Why do we have to wait for the torpedoes to all also get destroyed? Okay, thankfully it wasn't too bad. To Lady Theodora's legacy. Okay, battle is over. We got a Lath Pattern 2B engine. Provides 12 speed along with strong acceleration and braking. I is this one the left one or the right one? I'm guessing the left one. So ours is... Ah, wait. This one has strong acceleration and braking. I'm guessing more maneuverability. How can I read this uh, info? This parameter of engine components determines the length of the ship's rotation and phases and the size of their respective zones. Engines with strong acceleration and acceleration have large acceleration and end movement zones. I guess I can try this one. Uh, try this one out. We got Dark Halo, which is a Void Heretic Trophy. And we also got Unholy Hamlet, which is the same thing. And 107 Scrap. Well, that Scrap will go to fix our ship right now. And we took a lot of damage here. Okay. And I think... Given that we're at 435, I guess I can upgrade again. Okay. So, what did we get? Where is my thingy? Um, what? Th this one? No, not this one. Oh no, I, I, have, the, I have the one with the, the strong selection breaking. <clears throat> so I think I like this better. Than what we picked up. One thing I wanted to check is, if I remember right, this was supposed to be something like a um, an ultimate ability.
And I think it said something about having a cooldown or something, but I don't actually remember. Hmm. It doesn't show a cooldown here. In between battles, I mean. I love it. Very, very strong choice. I'm very happy I took it. Okay, so with that done, let me just quick save because that could have been a very nasty battle. Uh, let's check out this weird planet here. We're off to a strong start. Uh, XP. I have very, very little extractums, which makes me sad. I wish I had more. Okay, experience. Floggy stone. I have nine already, so no, thank you. Experience. Ooh, six Promethium. I already have 14, though. I don't think I want to waste extractums on stuff I already have a lot of. I would prefer having it on Adamantine, for example. <clears throat> I don't believe this can be mined. Could be wrong. Okay, so this is an Ice World... And it shows me what it has, okay. So, I, I'm done with this, right? Yeah, I'm done with this. So, let's go back. Are the loadings faster, or is it just my imagination? Okay, so this, this shows it here. We have Promethium. I wish it said how much. But yeah, we have a good amount of Promethium over here. Uh, next destination, I guess I'm going to go for the Pillars of... Uh, Viridici or Viridici. Lord Captain, this is Master Helmsman Ravor. The crew is grumbling again, but they've had a right reason this time. Our analytic system have gone totally bonkers. The red robes, excuse me, tech priests are blaming the anger of the machine spirits. Allegedly, this is how they profess their displeasure at the crew not being worshipful. We have largely managed to stabilize the output of the augurs and the ox auspexes across the ship. But you should know there is something awfully sketchy about the machines these days. I can confirm, Lord Captain. The vessel's analytic systems were behaving incorrectly for a time. The cogitators could not produce statistical data and displayed meaningless numeric combinations instead. The augurs failed to correctly analyze matter and mistook solids for liquids and vice versa. Thanks to the tech priest's efforts, standard operation on the ship's mechanisms has been restored. I am still registering sporadic reports of similar malfunctions, but we should now be able to handle them. <coughs> okay, I guess it's just... Random text. Let's chart new routes. Oh, Tenebris Aquae. This is for the... Um, for Iliad's quest. Okay, so Pillars of Viridici. What the hell is this? An Ice Sun. I do enjoy exploring this game, I will say. Plus, we have 19, and we have Inquisition Shipwreck. We all leveled up, really. Uh, okay, can I can I back up? Okay. No, not that. I did not know I was leveled up. But yeah, I do feel like the the loading screens are much faster. Well, it still takes a long time here, I suppose. Come on, why, why did I say anything? Ooh, that was a new animation as well. Okay, looking good. So, do I still know how... Ooh, everything looks different, god damn. Okay, so Master Tactician. We have available skills and characteristics. Ah, I'm gonna do this like I usually do it. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna look over the level ups, and I will come back with level ups done. Okay, so for my main character, it seems 
simple enough. We got an additional skill and characteristic. I went for persuasion. Uh, I think it's my best choice here. And for characteristics, I was thinking about maybe going for willpower to round this off. But if I remember right, I don't think there's really anything that I particularly need willpower for right now. So I'm just going to buff ballistic skill. See if I can use him a little bit more for shooting purposes. We'll see. So he is done. Moving on to Iliot. Iliot, again, also a simple level up. We got additional characteristics. I went for perception to round this off. We're at 65. We're going to go to 70. Uh, and then we had available skill. I'm just going for Lord Zeno's. It's the strongest suit. Awareness, I believe I already have a lot on... Um, I can even see it here, right? Yeah, on Cassia. I have a lot of it. So I'm just going to go for Lord Zenos on her. Moving to Jay. Jay, very similar level up to my main character. I don't really use this character anyway, but just gave her some more um, uh, Lord Imperium. It's his strongest suit. And I also gave her Ballistic Skill because Fellowship cannot be chosen. And it also rounds it off, which is quite nice. We're going to move to... What is this? Oh! Okay, Sinskin. Uh, moving on to Mr. Heinrichs. For Mr. Heinrichs, we took an available skill. I took Medicae. I'm going for Medicae instead of, for example, Athletics, because he already um, we already have Abelard with a lot of Athletics. Well, not necessarily a lot, but he has more than him. Uh, demolition, Awareness, all this stuff, we have other people that can use it. So I'm just going to go for Medicae, which can help him out and other people in the team as well. Then I took Weapon Skill, just to round this off. Again, a character I don't really use all that often. Uh, but just rounding him off seems like a nice choice here. And he is done. Cassia. Okay, <clears throat> so for Cassia, my lover, I still remember that she's going to be my wife here. <laughs> I'm giving her Fellowship, because Willpower is maxed out right now. Uh, I think it's her secondary most important stat. And then I'm giving her more awareness. I think awareness is just a, a, an overall good skill to have. So just keep pumping that. She's going to get 10 more points. This is done. Moving on to Idira. Okay, so for Idira, uh, in terms of skills, I went for Lord Warp. She's the one that has the most of it. I'm going to keep on pumping that. And in terms of characteristics, willpower is maxed, so again, I'm not going to give her willpower. And in terms of the other stuff, I wish I could give her maybe some toughness. But given that that's not an option here for me, uh, I'm going to go for ballistic skill. We are currently at 25, because we also have this penalty from the Dark Visionary Hood. And we do have a feature or a talent or something that does buff our spells by our amount of ballistic skill. So I'm just rounding this off to be pretty, let's say. <laughs> she is done. And I think we're only missing... Yeah, these three. So, Argenta. For Argenta, I keep, I keep giving her Demolition. She's the one with the most Demolition score. And I'm also going to give her Perception. Uh, I'm giving her Perception because Ballistic Skill is um, can't be increased anymore. And Perception is also a very good skill for her to have. Or characteristic. Making enemies less likely to dodge. Moving on to Abelard. For Abelard, again, very simple. More athletics, it's his strongest suit. And I'm giving him more strength. Out of the available options, I think either strength or toughness would be the correct choices. I'm going to move into strength for right now. And finally, we're going to go for Mr. Pascal. So for Pascal, if I remember right, I think I basically butchered his build. I think I tried giving him something like... Um, uh, heavy armor proficiencies and whatnot. Yeah, while wearing heavy armor. Stuff like that. But I think then heavy armor requires strength. If I remember this right. So I think his build is pretty much horrible right now. <laughs> uh, but I, I might just swap it at some point by respecking. Just don't feel like doing it right now. So I'm taking logic on him. I could have also taken um, more tech use. Which is his strongest suit. But given that we don't really have anybody else for logic, I'm basically spreading logic and tech use on Mr. Pascal here. So, <clears throat> tech use, 
perception to keep on shooting a little bit more accurately. And that's the level up for him. Okay, so everybody has been leveled up. We can go back to the system map. Right? Right? And we are going to go and explore this Inquisition shipwreck. Take our team. This is my team. Yes, it is. And let's see what we have. Hopefully some combat, because I'm very much looking forward to seeing the changes they made to the officers. As I have been told that there was a lot of changes on the officers. Your lordship. Okay, so what am I doing here? Oh my god, I can... I can... I can... I can move the camera. <laughs> I've been suffering on... A new challenge for me. On uh, Pathfinder with that. Okay. So, let's see. Do I still know how to play this game? This is also different, isn't it? This thing didn't show up before. Fire and I think this is a lane. very big improvement. Lovely. Okay, we have... A shotgun. Oh, what is this, man? They even... There's so much... So many things are different. So this nullifying shotgun on my left, I think it's just highlighting what's better and what's worse than what, I, than what I'm looking at right now. But there's also this plus. This plus sign. What is this? I don't know what that is. It also has a plus. I think even even these symbols got changed. Am I, am I crazy? I think these symbols got changed. Yeah, again, with the plus. Ooh, this also has a new icon here. Little thingy. I don't know what it means, but there is a, a thingy for sure. I wonder if this means that we're looking at unique items. Yeah, so the Enver Chain Sword makes sense to be a unique item, has a plus. We had the special weapon for Argenta, not this one, um, this one. <clears throat> also has a plus. Okay, I'm wondering if it just means it's a unique weapon, which could be cool. Man, she is looking badass. Okay. Keep searching, melt the charge. That wasn't so difficult. These soldiers were killed by shots in the back. It seems they were executed by, by their own comrade, who then used his last charge to blow his own brains out. But can we loot them? No. Sentry's keycard. Keycards like this are issued to soldiers who are posted in compartments with heightened security. Okay. So I guess we're going to use that for something. And I love this. Why aren't you moving? I'll lay claim to the, the stars. Hmm. What is that? What am I looking at here? None <clears throat> shall stand in my I'm way. probably looking at trauma right here. <laughs> Duty no, she did it. Nice. There is a gaping hole in each corpse's head. They were brought out one at a time and shot from behind at point blank range. Victory. How awaits. do you know they were brought one at a time? Logic. Operation successful. Okay, good. The readings indicated the ship's reactor is still running, though perhaps not for long. This explains why the ship's interior is warm. Alrighty. It's about time. So jump 90% with athletics. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Good. Will this also give me experience? Experience. It did. Nothing matters more. Okay. I won't tolerate weakness. Yeah, sometimes I, I do this and the characters don't move. I don't know what. Oh. <clears throat> do you hear that? That scream. Passengers will keep their mouths shut. There is no screaming. No. I 
I hear it too. Oh, Emperor, his screams are so loud. Me too, it's so loud. Please stop this torment. Why are you torturing us? So these are psychers suffering from the warp, I imagine. Something's not right. Wardens, combat positions. Tell the bridge we have suspicious activity here. Get back, damned mutants. This isn't right. You can't treat us like this. What are you going to do to us? We want to live. I don't think you're gonna live, my friend. Unless you blow them up. Which you might also do. Embrace the gift of the cave. Yeah, I think... I think the Psykers probably blew up the, the Inquisition a new there. Challenge for me? Ugh, such a low chance, man. Uh, damn it. God damn it, man. She is now perplexed. Awesome. Crude scribblings in some blasphemous script prove too impenetrable, impenetrable to decipher. Ballistic skill, weapon skill, intelligence, or perception checks. None shall stand in my Do way. I have Did something I that heals that this? My whispers tell me jokes? Don't actually remember. Jokes that once said aloud. Remove stun, bleeding, fatigue, bleed blind, blood immobilized, blood staggered, and fresh injury. <laughs> Talk about black comedy. This now shows a 16. It's hotter than blue. It's also new, this, to me. Hmm. Okay, cool. Victory awaits! This is very, very dark. A squalid birth heavily soiled with blood and vomit. It is also equipped with straps that were used to bind its inhabitant to the bed whenever necessary. And again, they're not mo move. Follow my lead. A rotten brick of corpse starch, a passenger's rations. Judging by the lingering smell, it was dosed with a sedative. An asthmatic rasping can still be heard coming from a broken vox. A screeching, cacophonous melody that sets your nerves on edge and scatters your thoughts. All right. I'll lay claim to the stars. These people were not killed by weapons fired. Perhaps there was no ammunition left for them. They were brutally butchered with knives and beaten with gun stocks. Okay, my formation is actually incorrect. Um... Uh, why is this so strange? I want it like this, I think. <clears throat> Embrace the gift of decay. Ooh, there's something seriously messed up here. Man, why do... Is it so hard, these lore checks? It's about Holy time. Crap. Small fish, eyeless and slimy, dart and wriggle about in the rank water. Do I have something that's decreasing my lore warp skill? Because I know she has some stuff that gives her a penalty. Um, bonus to blah blah blah. I feel like she had something that helped it out. Yeah, okay, so grants a 20 bonus to Lord Warp and a minus 10 penalty to... Okay. So I want to equip this. Uh, wait, what? Game. Okay. It, okay, whatever. And grants plus 10 Lord to Warp. What is the matter with you, dude? <sighs> okay, did they mess up the inventory system or what? It feels like they did. <laughs> the premonition runs true. Okay, embracing after the K. Okay, let's go back to what we had. I feel like I'm gonna take a lot of time doing this. Because this is messed up. Uh, okay, and I had... I think... No, man, not that. Come on. Weird. Uh, New okay. Challenge for me? Did I just go backwards? I went backwards, didn't I? 
I went backwards. Where am I supposed to go? These people are killed by one spy for the... Oh, okay. I won't tolerate No, weakness. wait, what? Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> I kind of got mixed up there, but yeah, we're, we're on the other side of this collapsed bridge. Follow my lead! The Whispers told me a secret. They want to burn us all. Burn, burn, burn. None shall stand in my way. Through the cocoon's translucent film, you can see the vague outlines of a decaying body. The ribcage has been broken open and a heart still beats inside it. Isn't that lovely? Okay, just cargo. It's about time. Demolition, 60%. What about over here? I just want to live. Why? Why? After being shot, these poor wretches had their skulls caved in around the temple as if to make doubly sure. I'll so these are the Templars from... The uh, <clears throat> what is the name of the game? Um, oh. Identify yourself. Warden Kappa 322 reporting for patrol duty at the main confinement cell. Atmospheric sensors indicate the presence of unknown impurities. High risk of contamination. What? But... Uh, oh, sense of the Emperor, what's happening to me? Oh, he's dying, isn't he? Oh, god damn. Danger! <laughs> Detecting extreme contamination levels, initiating global alert protocol. Decay. Oh, a plague bearer. <laughs> Is this a plague bearer of Nurgle? Oh, I think we have Nurgle going on. Tangible psychic radiation is coming from the gurgling sludge. Perhaps it is the source of the vision that seized you. He had armor, whatever. This tree has sprouted right out of a person. His broken bones have formed the colors of branches. His cracked skull has merged with the trunk. And dried gore now coats the skin like bark in a thin layer. Okay, so I think before we Victory go any further... Awaits. Given that this seems like a, a very long pathway to follow, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and use this and see if we can succeed. See what's behind it. Never doubt me. I Good. won't tolerate weakness. Is this just a secret room? It feels like a secret room. From time to time, tiny sparks of psychic energy burst out of the cocoon. None shall Medicaid. stand in my way. Who has the highest Medicaid? I have fifty. He has 60, 40, 55, 55, and 30. Okay. So, again, sorry. Uh, Medicaid is highest on uh, uh, Pascal, correct? Yes, Pascal. So, let me take this off. And I guess take off the bayonet knife. Bring in this. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Okay, good. We got medicates, we got onslaught, we got stim. Not really using those, but again, I should. And why was Idida using this and not Pascal? I wonder why. Uh, it also grants a plus 5 bonus to Medicaid. The wielder gains a strength plus int bonus additional damage for single attacks against human enemies. Do I have something that I would like on her? Uh, in terms of accessories, I don't think so. Um... I guess you can take this. God damn it. Take that. Okay, so nothing it's over here. Time. I am very excited about uh, checking out Nurgle. Because Plague Bearers are from Nurgle. Which is another Chaos God or whatever you want to call it. I'll lay claim a to Chaos the Demon, a Chaos God. I think it's a God. So, Lord Warp. Again, I don't appreciate this juggling of items, but... I feel like I have to do it. So, take that. 
and take this off and then equip this. Are you gonna get perplexed? The whispers told no. me how. Grants eternal fire, Nurgle, father of decay, for we do not want to die. Yes, I knew it. Nurgle. Nurgle is my friend. Um Oh my god, what did I just do? I messed something up. I think I was using the yeah, okay. So you Take this and take this. A new challenge for me. No one will hurt us here, and no one will hurt you either now. I feel like I want a quick save because I'm feeling very anxious about this entire area, which I love. Okay, uh cargo and some random weapons. Victory awaits! Would you look at that? Oh, you water bitch. No trauma, no trauma. I better myself through my service. Love you. I won't. And I love Cassie, but I also weakness. love you. The crates contain fragments of plate armor rusted and covered in fungus. The last guns, flamers, and shock weapons in the containers are covered in a layer of whitish maggots and partly eaten away by acid corrosion. Follow my awesome. lead. So yeah, Nurgle is the father of decay. He usually kills with like poison and very slow grinding things. Do I have something that will buff my Lord Imperium? Should I even bother with trying to change every so often? I mean, I should for the extra experience, right? But it feels like such a chore to keep doing this. What is this? This item grants weather plus 5 bonus to parry reduction. If the weather has conviction iconoclast, all allies gain plus 10 times 2... Uh, plus 10 plus 2 times iconoclast rank hit chance against enemies against the weather. The weather automatically dodges allies' melee attacks. Yeah, this is a cool glove for Abelard, but I imagine he has better. Yeah, 10 weapon skill and 5 strength. It's hard to compete with that, I think, for now. Okay, just very quickly seeing if I have something that grants me... Oh, something else that gives more Medicaid. Oof. Okay. This will be good for Edita to pass um, Lord Warp checks. Because she has 100. That's a plus 10 right there. And and sorry, because I, I also don't remember what items I have. <laughs> it really has been a while. Okay, no, I think we're, we're good. We'll try it like this. I've read about this. Nice. A knife, a stim, and a voidsman's diary. After the last shift consolidation, they transferred me to the pariah barracks, and everything they say about these freaks is true. I don't know if they've raised this, if they're raised this way, or if they really don't have a soul, but just being near them makes me sick to my stomach. Cold, unfeeling, empty creatures pretending to be human. They beat and execute the passengers like it's nothing. A normal person is disgusted at the thought of smashing a person's skull. Well, either, either that, or they like it. But not them. They don't care one bit. If... It was up to me, I tossed them in the hold with the rest of the mutants, but the Psyker's tricks won't work on them at all. Very handy when you're traveling on a ship stuffed full of enraged Psykers. I had to move one of the Psykers from the communal hold to separate quarters. That treacherous piece of shit was encouraging the others to revolt, and our esteemed ship's confessor orders, ordered us to give him a good hiding. We beat him for two hours or so, and by the end of my damned cough... And by the end, my damned cough had got so bad it was unbearable. I'm worried I'll be called in to see the chirurgeon. If command finds out about the crap in my lungs, they'll toss me straight out of the airlock. My only hope is my new augmetic, though the guy who fitted it on Flashy Prima was strange. He gave me the creeps and so did all his machinery. No doubt it was all illegal under the Imperium's laws. But I didn't have a choice. A wretched bilge rat of a voidsman would never ri rise high enough to have this aches and pain seized by someone from the Adeptus Mechanicus. 
I'm just gonna hope that this thing clears up on its own. Yeah, something tells me that it didn't. And something tells me it's... a uh, Nurgle infestation. Fire grenades. Needs key. None shall stand in my way. Something tells me that for Nurgle types of enemies I will want fire. I don't know why I think this, but it just makes sense to me. Wait, why didn't you... Okay, I'm starting to get annoyed with this. I have to double click. I can't drag and drop now? Needs a key. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this, this. This doesn't look right, does it? I see cover, cover, corrupted turrets over there, and a whole bunch of things that are gonna rise up against me. I'll lay claim to the stars. For sure. <laughs> Sir, we've lost contact with hold sections 238 and 239. The riot is spreading. Okay, so the psychers are rioting, right? Emperor, have mercy on us. I won't let these blasphemous mutants take control of my ship. Broadcast is over all Vox channels. In the name of Inquisitor Uton Hall, all crew members are hereby ordered to take up arms and begin a total purge of the holds. They were not messing around, were they? Every Psyker on board must be destroyed. Cleanse every inch of this ship with fire. Yeah, fire. <laughs> the Emperor protects. You have been ambushed. The battle begins. Okay. Ah, oh God. Again, it's gonna be a long episode, isn't it? Um, so, I've been ambushed, which means I cannot place my characters. Poxwalker Guard. Oh my, what? And this is what I'm missing a second frontliner. Well, <clears throat> let's start the battle. Okay, so what is this, by the way? Is this my Seize the Initiative, or is this just my first round? This is Seize the Initiative for sure, because I can't use anything else. But I should be able to... Did they change... this class? No, no. It always acts first in combat, so I'm hoping I get another turn with her after this. <clears throat> God damn, these turrets are also playing. 13 deflection. <sighs> okay, dude. Um, so I have the Bloodhound staff, which is what I want. I feel like I want to give somebody bring it down. And it's probably gonna be, what, Abelard? Or maybe even Idira? Or maybe even... Okay, there's a lot of good choices here. I feel. I... I hate those goddamn turrets. How much HP do you have? 104... Okay. 49 on most, 144 on the big ones, I think. I need... I need AoE, is what I need. I would probably want to put Argenta over there to have heavy cover. I'm, I'm getting flanked very hard. So I think this needs to die ASAP. And this area would get covered by... Abelard trying to do something, I don't know. Maybe the turret will kill the pox walkers as well because they're in the line of sight. Okay. So I feel like.
Well, first of all, I feel like I value Cassia over anybody else right now. So I'm actually going to put her under cover. Be careful not to cross <clears throat> my gaze. And I'm going to give it bring I'm going to give bring it down to Idira. If I may. Okay. So what are we doing here? If I want to go for damage, this doesn't do a lot right now. It does a bunch, but not that much. I would actually get a lot more if I target this area than if I target my backline. I think I probably want Resolve to start pumping up my stuff here. Iron Arm on Abelard would be lovely as well. <clears throat> Maybe even Warp Speed. This is a very sucky uh, fight, by the way. God damn it. Okay, let's see. I will start by giving everybody's res resolve here. I will give Iron Arm to Abelard. Because he's gonna be in the front. Taking some hits. And now the question is, do I buff someone or do I start dishing out damage? I feel like maybe dishing out damage to see if I can at least clear out this back area somewhat. And not get myself killed. Where would I go though? If I go over here... Can I still do this? I cannot. Uh, what if you go here? Also no. So what if you go here? Here you can. I would hit four targets. Okay, sure. Let's hunt down the prey. This On this guy and this Anything guy. Else? And let's see what we can make happen here. Uh, was that you? <clears throat> Not what? very much damage. Uh, we triggered the warp thingy, so now we have a uh, warp power costing less. I think I will give forewarning to... Maybe Argenta, because she would be my next frontline, I think. Okay, so 91 dodge, 37 armor, 70, 52, 60, 41... <clears throat> yeah, it would be Argenta. Okay, so Argenta take this. On it. I can move again. Interesting. Uh, so go over there. Cover me. Now we pass. Why did I not foresee this? Yeah, she takes some damage because of the thingy from Cassia. Yep, yep, yep. And now Cassia should play. Well, she plays after my CSD initiative. Okay, that also is fine for me. I don't mind that at all. Now, I do believe this was changed. Yeah, this ability cannot be used on the same ally for more than once per round. Yeah, okay, this, this, this got changed. This got changed. So how... Where do I go with this? I was thinking about giving it to Cassia so she can do a lot of damage over here and also buff my other characters. I think that's right. She will still she will still play after me anyway. Yeah, so Idira, even if it's from a different officer, I cannot target Idira. Okay, okay, definitely a nerf. I could give it to Argenta, start nuking this entire area. But I feel like these turrets are gonna start killing my party very, very quickly. But she plays first and she plays first, or before the turret, so I'm not that concerned yet. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's try Cassia. Already done! Excuse me? Yep, 
Why can't I use my navigator stuff? The officer will immediately grant an ally to turn. No, no, no. Uh. I don't get it. This should have worked. I, I should be able to use this, but I'm not. And I'm gonna call that a bug. <laughs> I hate, I hate doing this, but I'm gonna call it a bug. Okay. <clears throat> well, that doesn't work. So I'm gonna do what? I'm going to. I'm going to probably give Abelard voice of command and an extra turn. So he can prepare himself for tanking this. I think that's what I'm gonna do here, yeah. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Okay, so Abelard, he can actually <clears throat> wait, he can move. Wait, he can move. Did they fix this? Where is it? The navigator starts all turns and quickest turns with plus three additional movement points. The first ally targeted by the navigator with a single target ability each turn gains the same amount of... Okay, so this is apparently working now, which makes me happy. Though... Is it? I have three... Hmm. Can I move over there? No. Okay, so I think I want to get... Over here... To also give some breathing room to Argenta. Actually, wait. I'm gonna use Brace for Impact. I think if there's a time to use it, it's now. So I'm gonna move over here. Do I still remember how to play this? Four action points. I will definitely want Endure. I will probably want Taunting Scream. So, one, two. And then... Uh, what? Like a shot and a kick? To reduce this? I guess I can start with the shot. Okay, so... Uh, shot, kick, that's one, two, <clears throat> three, four. But if I shoot, I can't move, right? Yeah, okay. I remember that, I remember that. <laughs> I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Okay. Victory is imminent. Lovely. It will be done. And a taunting scream. This will hit a lot more people than this. So, for sure, go like this. Wait, I can't hit this guy? Really? That's fine. Okay, so do it like this. Okay, now you can stay there. He takes damage from Cassia. We know that. We passed the turn. Now, my character has done his thing as well. I'm going to move him over here. We pass. Now Cassia plays again. Okay, so now let me see. We have Point of Curiosity, which I cannot target anybody over there because of the cover. I can target every single thing here. I think just for the sake of... amount of damage I can do, I'm gonna target this area, not the area behind me. Now, I also wanna do this before I forget, that's right. So, frontline, enemies suffer more damage from any area, or anything. I'm gonna place it, like, here. Even though I'm not targeting most of the enemies, I am targeting Abelard. And he getting more armor, I think, is more important than anything else here. So, do it like this. And then... Cover efficiency and dodge... 
and 22% dodge reduction. I think I'm going to want this on everybody in the back line here. Can we can we turn this now? Still still can't. It still sucks then. Uh, I can place it like this on top of Cassia at least. That's something. I'm not accustomed to being And I will around. place the rear over here. For Argenta, possibly. Isn't this a job for the okay. serfs? Now we also have Stronghold Stratagem. Allies in that area gain 7% armor, cannot be overpowered by the enemy's prone effect, and gain 2 deflection against area attacks. I think I'm gonna place this here. Because this area already has full cover, which counts for something, this area has nothing. Okay, so let's see this again. The first use of an attacking navigator power per turn does not set the power on cooldown. And does not count toward the attack limit per turn. So, reading that, I should be able to do Reveal the Light. And then, for example, twice Point of Curiosity. Or twice Little Stare. Let's see if this works now. Me? If you insist, okay. Lord went Captain. on cooldown. That is the correct behavior. Good. <clears throat> now, if I go for a point of curiosity, I can target every single person like this. This only targets enemies, correct? All enemies, yes. So I'm going to move them over here. I <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> I love it. It went on cooldown, I guess because it's not an attacking um, power, which is not incorrect. Well, I still I won't be able to use this twice, which is the sad part about it. But if I come over here, can I do this? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Um, where would I use my other... My other action point, though. I could give Air of Authority to Abelard because Abelard has Voice of Command, right? He does. So he would get an additional action point. I could also go for Notch of Purpose. I don't see a purpose in that. I could also give Voice of Command to Argenta or Idira, for example. I think I actually prefer that. I'm gonna give this to Idira. <clears throat> Why does it say action points four? Okay, it no longer says it. Whatever. Me. If you so insist, let's go Lord over Captain. here. And I'm going over here to not hit Abelard with um, Little Stair. And hopefully we can damage a lot and we can also stun a lot of this. Okay, this targets every single enemy in the area. Go. Step aside. The Navigator is coming. Face the Navigator's God might. Damn Cassia is still as good as ever. We did not get an heroic act, which makes me sad. Okay, so your turn is over. Oh, you can still move! You can see. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, you can't. Oh, these are just the areas. Sorry, with the green background, it seemed like movement. Okay. Let's pass. They have the. Um, the taunting scream, that's why I'm not so worried about putting Cassio over here. Can I really okay, these guys are all moving in. Oh god. Hope your blood will flow. Good dodge. Damn it. Out of my way. Toxin. Stunned. Parry. Yes to the weak. This is perfectly fine. Okay. So, we're playing with Idira again. If I want to move Idira... Why would I want to move Idira? That's the first question, right? Okay, so our HP. I could heal... <clears throat> well, first things first. We have five action points. 
I'm gonna start by giving more resolve to everyone again. Then I can heal Argenta. That's one, two. I still have three. With those three points, I could nuke something <laughs> like this area here. Or even just these four guys here. At the same time, they are blocking the path for these, I feel. Okay, so one, two, and then three, four, plus a buff. Or one, two, three, four, and a buff. I'll, I think I'll just go for damage. And then pain channeling should also work very well here. Will do. Okay, so word of the Emperor. We're gonna heal Argenta. She's the only one that has the most damage. But of course. I'm a oh, that's kind of lovely. Um, now, can I move? I would like to move... Do I take an attack opportunity? I can't really tell. It doesn't look like I do. But I can't tell. In any case, I can... U wait, wait, wait. This is an heroic act. No, no. So I can just target this area and just deal with these. Or I can target... Uh, I only hit a single thing. I think I'll just clear out these guys here in the back so they won't annoy me anymore. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> what a mess. Okay. Only one guy alive. Some Something is gonna kill him. Eventually. I'm gonna move Edita over here. I know what is to come. And I am going to... Possibly give Iron Arm. Could also use an Aero Connect here. And just kill these. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. God damn it. Uh, give me one second, please. And I'm back. Uh, but I think I'm gonna save my heroic act for something else. So I'm just gonna go and give Iron Arm to Argenta here. What? Was that you? Okay, pass. You are stunned. Uh, oh, you guys are moving in, okay. So now we have Argenta. Which mm, sucks because she's now kind of blocked here. If I use run and gun, it doesn't change the fact I'm gonna get hit. Okay. So I think I am quite simply gonna move up here and take the hit. Doesn't bother me too much. And then what? I'm probably going to burst this entire area. Or I'm just going to deplete my heroic act here. I think I will. Yeah. Okay, so let's move over over here. Guided by fate. It's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. That's... <sighs> Sorry. My bad. This was dumb. This was very dumb. So unnecessary. <laughs> okay, so state superiority. Additional attack per turn, including one attack the first attack. Cost zero AP. Okay, so in thy light I stand. That's and done. Thy light I crave. Which means I could now go for a concentrated fire and then burst everything in this area. Faith without deeds is not going to bother with this because they are all very weak already. I am hitting my own characters if I do that though. So just like this, I feel. Okay. As the Emperor commands, <laughs> eradicated. Okay, killed one. That guy takes barely any damage. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> I can go again with this and just move up a little bit so I don't hit them. Or I can also just target the backline and kill them, right? What if I just do this? Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot more. So we do this. No, 
Sounds very good to me. And now... Now... Do I bother with this guy? I feel like I should. So if I move over here... And I use wildfire... I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury! I can do this again. Okay. Now we do Furious Recital. That's an additional heroic act. Ready up. I'm gonna move over there. Rejoice in battle! Wait, I said over there. Oh, the game just... What? Okay. Whatever. Cordum is playing. Why can't I use this again? Absolutely not. Why not? Oh, because I got an extra turn because she used it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. Um, I am going to give finest hour because this, this will make it there. Is, this will make it so there is no attack limit. Which means that Idida can probably kill both of those cannons. So I'm gonna go for you serve me on Idida, if this ever even works. And now I will go for voice of command on Idida. She already has it, never mind. So I'll go for air of authority on Idida. I think I can go for... Um, assign objective. And I will just say this guy, for example, or even this guy. And now I can give voice of authority to someone else that might need it. Like, for example, Pascal, since he's kind of in the way. All too easy. And we give finest hour to Idira. And she can just cannon away. Life. I have five action points, it costs two, so let's go for more resolve yet again. And now we just burst everything. We are gonna focus on those back there. Those are the highest threat. Uh, I do want to have line of sight for both, because if I shoot, I can't attack anymore. Let's do this. They who descend the future on the battlefield. That's one down. Pain channeling killed the other one. Finest tower allows me to attack again. We'll do. We may have triggered Perils of the Warp. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. It's still alive. What the hell? Uh, I'm gonna go again. That's dead. And now I can even use my heroic act. And kill these guys over here. And you know, casual 1700 damage seems perfectly fine to me. I don't see a problem with this. Ooh, did I, did I traumatize you? No, because you have the stratagem. Yay! Invigorate! Anything is. Perfect, he's full healed. Wait, what? Why is this costing nothing? On it. Game. What is going on, game? Why am I using these at zero cost? Anything. I s uh, okay, I lowered the AP cost of my... St okay, it's it's getting late in the episode. I'm not going to waste time right now looking at why this is happening. I'm just going to continue. And in the next one, I might analyze it. Okay, you can go over there to be safe. You can pass your turn. Uh, you can move over here to be safe as well. And pass your turn. 
They might massacre Pascal here. Depending on the movement points. That's once. That's twice. That's fine. Okay, so now Pascal can just quite simply go for a brutal strike here. Do I have something else I might want to do? Do they even have armor? They have no armor. So there's no point in doing that. Um, okay, extra damage. And brutal. Just kill everything. Seems like a plan. And... Do I have anything that gives me extra attacks? I don't believe so. Well, this this works, right? Immediately inflicts one exploit on an enemy to attack against the target. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, <clears throat> Abelard, have fun. I will do like you. Ah, uh, you little bitch! At your beck and call. There you go. And the fight's over. Yay! It's about time. Okay, my friends. So, again, a very long episode to start off my comeback to Rogue Trader. Uh, a very cool one, though. Uh, definitely feel the change about Bring It Down not being able to target the same ally more than once per round. But I actually like this change. It will kind of force the player to play around a little bit more with the other companions, rather than just have, like, for example, one very strong character that kills every single thing and then everybody else just watches. So this will make it more um, interesting, I would say. And I, I like the change. Other than that, I still see a couple of weird things happening. Maybe some bugs. Uh, maybe some things, me not understanding it. But look... <laughs> This was from pain channeling. God damn. Okay. So we did it still strong as ever. Uh, this will be it for this episode, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Rogue Trader. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more videos coming out soon. And it is also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode. And until then, stay safe, everyone.